everyone! Kumusta naman kayo mga kabrini? Ang pag-aaral, huwag kayong magalala. Kasama nyo ang Bataan Science Channel sa pagtuklas ng mga bagong paraan ng pag-aaral para sa new normal. Kasi nga, together, we will all learn science at home. I have two tall clear glasses here with liquids, mga kabrini. Can you identify which one contains a pure substance and which one contains a mixture? Hmm. Just by looking, you cannot easily tell, but how can we determine which one is a pure substance and which one is a mixture without tasting them? Hmm. Sounds interesting, mga kabrini. But before we answer those questions, let us know first what is our lesson for today. Yes, mga kabrini, our lesson for today will focus on pure substances and mixtures. The goal or the objective of this lesson is to differentiate pure substances from mixtures. During your elementary days, you were able to identify matter according to their phases. Solid, liquid, gas, or plasma. Now mga kabrini, dagdagan natin yan. Yes mga kabrini, there are other ways on how we can classify matter. We can also classify matter according to their components. Yes, mga kabrini. Which of these materials do you think are elements and which are compounds? Silver spoon is only made up of silver atoms, while water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen in definite chemical proportion, which makes both silver and water examples of pure substances. Matter could be classified whether a substance or a mixture. Pure substances are either element or compound. Elements are made up of one particular kind of atom and cannot be broken down by chemical means. They are uniform in appearance and have a definite composition. You already learned that we have 118 elements which most of them are naturally occurring and some are synthetic or man-made. These are some of the common elements. Hydrogen, helium, oxygen, carbon, iron, gold, and many more. While compounds are composed of one or more elements combined chemically, like water, salt, sugar, baking soda, and vinegar. Compounds can be broken down through a chemical reaction called decomposition. For example, water can be broken down or separated into hydrogen and oxygen through electrolysis.
about mixtures. These are the combination of substances which are not chemically combined. A mixture is a physical blend of two or more components, each of which retains its own identity and properties in the mixture. Two types of mixtures. Heterogeneous mixture consist of substances that can be easily identified. Example, water and sand, pebbles and marbles, water, oil, and honey. They can be separated by either filtration, hand-picking, and decantation. Take a look at this example of water with salt. Only the form of salt is changed when it is dissolved into water. It retains its composition and properties. Homogeneous mixture. A mixture in which the composition is uniform throughout the mixture. The salt water is described as a homogeneous mixture because the dissolved salt is evenly distributed throughout the entire salt water sample. Examples, blood plasma, wines and liquors, water itself. These are some ways of separating mixtures. Simple distillation is the process of heating a liquid mixture to form vapor and then cooling that vapor to get a liquid is called simple distillation. Evaporation is a technique used to separate out homogeneous mixtures where there is one or more dissolved solid. Chromatography is the separation of a mixture by passing it in solution or suspension through a medium in which the components move at different rates. Filtration is a method used to separate out in mixtures, comprised of particles, some of which are large enough in size to be captured with the porous material. Can you explain the difference between a top water and a distilled water? Which is a mixture and which is a substance? Top water is a mixture because it contains impurities, while distilled water is a pure substance because the water underwent the process of distillation. Now, we are done with lesson three let us summarize the similarities and differences of pure substances and mixtures
rainy, masaya pa rin mag-aral kahit nasa bahay lang tayo. Kaya nga, sa patuloy nating pagtuklas at patuloy nating pakikibaka para sa edukasyon ng new normal, sasamahan kayo ng Bataan Science Channel. Kasi nga, together, we will all learn science at home. Bye! At kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, do not forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe to our channel, Pataan Science Channel.